My name's Joe Zidori and I am a third generation New York City chef. My grandmother was a chef, my father was a chef, and so am I. When we walk out of the restaurant, we go down the street, we get a beautiful live scallop. Um, we go to the store, the place next door to that place and, and get some great spices and some accoutrements to go with that scallop. We come back to the restaurant and make a scallop dish. It's really simple. All these ingredients are, are you know, arm's length away in our backyard. Uh, at these beautiful markets. All right, we're in Chinatown. This is usually where I come to get my fish. Um, as you see, there's a ton of variety of stuff, things that you never even thought existed. You know, I mean, you've got squid, but then you've got these lampreys and these belt fish. Razor clams are great. We do a great chowder with them. Uh, scallop, this is a live scallop. These usually come from Barnacle Light, New Jersey, or Montauk Point. It might look ugly, but it tastes really good. You know, those are beautiful chowder clams. Those are what they, with this, that's what you get when you buy a can of clams and you make your linguine white clam sauce or your clam chowder. Now, when you're talking about sustainable seafood, the rule of the thumb is to eat low in the food chain. Spanish mackerel is a great choice if you're looking to serve something that's healthy for the ocean. Porgies are great. It's like a local sea bream. Everyone loves Dorad. They have a, this uh, stereotype about Chinatown, which is completely false. The Chinese, they, they thrive on fresh fish, so they're not gonna eat bad fish, so they buy a lot of fish, they eat a lot of fish, so that means the fish always has to be fresh. So this is where I buy my black bacon. It's my, uh, it's what I call Chinatown bacon. It's soy cured bacon. It's bacon that's cured in soy sauce for like a month. And it's a secret ingredient for our razor clam chowder. A lot of these birds are raised locally between the Hudson Valley, uh, or believe it or not, in, in some areas in Long Island City. The feet are on it, the head are on it, the wings are on it, so I, I get to use the whole bird. I, I take all of those beautiful uh, collagen-rich uh, offcuts of the bird and I make a beautiful stock. And what we're gonna do at the restaurant is I'm gonna serve a beautiful roasted chicken leg, serve with what I call a Chinatown, Chinatown style au jus. Chinatown's got great greens, you know, these are like uh, kind of like pea shoots or pea greens, you know. Most people would look at this and discard it and only want the pea. We'll take this, we'll stir fry it with some exo sauce, some black garlic, or we'll simply make a salad with, a, with a, a lemon vinaigrette and some other interesting ingredients. This is a beautiful dish we'll do. We'll do a little local whelk or squingili, fra diavolo over a homemade kind of like a spaghetti chitara. Uh, and what we do is we finish the beautiful, rich, unctuous tomato sauce with some fresh uni and some uni butter. Now we're at Hong Kong Market. Uh, this is where I usually go to get all of my condiments, my Asian condiments. My, the spices when the magic happens kind of a deal. It's quite a, amazing when you take a little bit of, you make something that's classically French and you add a little dab of soy to it and what it does to enhance the sauce or give it, as they like to say more, that umami factor. When you want to make fresh curry, you know, you get some fresh green chilies, cilantro, coriander seed, some shrimp paste or some crab paste and you fry it down sometimes with some onions and some garlic and you I like the Xiao Sing, this, uh, this style of cooking wine. It's like a Chinese brandy, it's made from rice, I believe. Uh, when, I, uh, when I make my chowder, I will um, use that black bacon I talked about earlier, some beautiful razor clams or chowder clams, but I, I love to add this Xiao Sing to it. Uh, the dry shiitake, very important ingredient uh, in our pantry. Uh, traditionally, you make a, a fume or a fish stock. Uh, what we make is a dashi stock at the restaurant. All those beautiful porgies you saw, we have to cut the heads off, we have to take the bones out. We don't like to waste it, so what do we do? Um, we, we make a dashi. So uh, here at Oliva, I come here and I get the dried sausage and the cheeses. It's usually what I come here for. They have all the soprasatas, the hot and the sweet, as you can see here. The aged provolone, really sharp. This isn't like that deli provolone that you get. Um, and one of the other beautiful things we come here for is the smoked mozzarella. Even they tell you it's the best. That's what Italians do. We always say everything's the best. Um, but this is beautiful smoked mozzarella. We've got the salted mozzarella over here. And then this is uh, one of my childhood favorites. It's the boccaccini. Uh, so we're, at, we're in Piemonte Ravioli Company. Um, we make most of our pastas uh, fresh at the restaurant. Uh, we make our pappadelle. Semolina Tagliatella, raviolis. This is that wide kind of ridgeless type rigatoni uh, for layman's terms. This is just beautiful with like a, a beautiful like Berkshire pork ragu. Italian plum peeled tomatoes. Usually has a little puree in it with some basil leaf. They got the eggplant, the asparagus. Obviously today in this day and age you gotta have a vegetarian, tofu, the tricolori. This is good too, everyone likes this. I'm here to make it nice and thin, you see right through it. If you can't read your newspaper through it, it's, it's not thin enough. A lot of the sweets, the old panatone, which is here. You know, all these beautiful cakes in a box. 
When I used to, in my, in, my, in my heritage, when you went to somebody's house in the holidays, you better have walked in with one of these boxes, you know? The design idea behind Chalk Point is that it's quite simply uh, the idea of food coming directly from the farm to the restaurant, and so the restaurant would have the feeling of an old farm. The background of, of New York City once being like a farmland above Canal Street, uh, we find very interesting and referencing. So after weeks of preparation, Chalk Point Kitchen's finally ready to go. Uh, we've been uh, hitting the markets, cooking some food, and we've got a great idea and feel for what the, what the cuisine is gonna be here at Chalk Point Kitchen. We talked about all those great flavors and that edge. Uh, think spicy Vietnamese beef salad, beef tataki sliced thin over organic greens with the spicy sriracha dressing and some uh, roasted peanut powder. Uh, that's just one dish. We have main uh, sea urchin crudo, salsa verde, lime, sea salt, black pepper. Um, but then most importantly, the rumor is that there's a secret dish here at Chalk Point Kitchen. And the only thing I can tell you is think 50 years of history and pasta. So not only is the food great at Chalk Point Kitchen, so is the team. Uh, joining me in the kitchen is two great individuals. We got Freddie, who is our chef de cuisine. He's a Blue Hill vet. And we've got Chef Spencer, who is a vet from Sons of Essex. Uh, the concept of the menu is to keep uh, within the seasons and keep a local locality uh, by doing Green Market, which we're basically utilizing uh, local markets such as Green Market in Union Square as well as Chinatown. Uh, Union Square will source out some boba chickens for a Buddhist style chicken. And in, in Chinatown, we'll source out our Chinese greens where we have the plethora of different greens we can source from, from that locale. Here at Chalk Point Kitchen, we're growing our own plants and flowers. We are also growing our own herbs such as basil, thyme, parsley, rosemary. You'll find a lot of those plants, um, those ingredients in your drinks. We're using them for the bitters, for the cocktails, and for some of our garnishes on the food. We have a Bayard Margarita where we're using fresh wasabi to kind of spice up the traditional margarita. It's really great. We use our fresh pressed uh, in-house lime juice, lemon juice, as well as a touch of orange. Uh, one of my favorites is the uni crudo. Very simple dish, salsa verde and lemon and lime. Pairs very well with a light white wine. Chef Joe Isidori's food is eclectic and charming, something that you would find in your grandmother's kitchen. A wonderful wine pairing is our 1995 Chateau Morgo. It's one of Bordeaux's great classics. Our service here at Chalk Point Kitchen is very relaxed and laid back. Uh, I think it's kind of give you the vibe and the feeling of your grandmother's kitchen. It just makes you feel like you're at home. And you certainly come here because of the menu, but you stay here because of the service. Yeah. The atmosphere is so homey and inviting. I just feel to cook great food in a kitchen like this, where the dining room is waiting for just people waiting to taste our food. Chalk Point Kitchen is warm, it's cozy, it's fun. So we try to reflect that in the kitchen as well, with what we do, how we operate, how we cook the food. Um, this is a restaurant that you don't go to once a year, or even twice a year, or once a month. It's somewhere you're at two, three, four times a month. And you come with a variety of different people. So next time you're in Soho, make sure you check out Chalk Point Kitchen.